guys, it's Sam, and today I'm talking about my most anticipated releases for spring and summer 2015. So I always release these videos by season instead of doing one giant one for the beginning of the year because we find out about books slowly as the year goes on. So I want to make sure that I have the nice pretty covers to show you guys and the more accurate release dates. But as you guys know, release dates can always change. So as of filming this video today, these are the right release dates, but they might change and get pushed back or pushed forward or whatever, depending on what happens publishing wise. But as of today, this is the right information. So first, let's talk about the books for May. The first book that I'm really anticipating is coming out May 1st, and that is The Last of Us by Maggie Harcourt. And this is basically a road trip book. It's about three friends who go on a road trip, I think right after high school, and it's a girl and two guys, and they've been best friends for a very long time, and they're going on a road trip kind of before they go in their separate ways and stuff. It actually takes place in Wales, which I have not read very many books set in Wales, if any at all, and that really kind of appeals to me because it's a very different kind of road trip book. I'm used to seeing the US road trips. It's gonna be nice to see kind of like a European road trip. And it sounds really good because in the tagline there's something about a slow burning romance that could mess up the friendship dynamics. I love a good slow burn romance, so it sounds really good. Also the cover is really pretty. Again, I think this might only be a UK release, so you might have to look on Book Depository for this. That's where I'm pre-ordering my copy from, but maybe we'll get it at some point in the US. I'm not sure, but I'm really looking forward to this one. It sounds like a really good summer read. The next one will come as no surprise to anybody, and that is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas, which is coming out May 5th. I'm sure all of you have seen this. This has been talked about basically since the beginning of the year. It is a very highly anticipated series from Sarah J Maas. It's going to be a trilogy, I believe, and it is basically a Beauty and the Beast retelling with the Fae, I think. Cover stunning. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I really enjoy Sarah J Maas's writing, even though I have some problems with the Throne of Glass series overall. I'm really enjoying her as a writer now with these later books, so I'm really looking forward to this one. And it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Beauty and the Beast is one of my top three fairy tales of all time, so I'm really looking forward to this one. The next book also comes out May 5th, and that is Crimson Bound by Rosamund Hodge. This is the same author that wrote Cruel Beauty, and that is another Beauty and the Beast retelling, actually, but I haven't read it yet. It's sitting down here on my shelf. I'm hoping to pick it up before Crimson Bound comes out, but this is a Red Riding Hood retelling, so I'm looking forward to this because I love my fairy tale retellings. Basically anything that's pitched as fairy tale retelling is going to go on my TBR regardless. The last book for May is Illusionarium by Heather Dixon, and this comes out May 19th. The cover is what originally drew me into this. I love steampunk with a fiery burning passion that will never die, and this is a very steampunky cover, and it takes place in an alternate London, and I believe it involves some parallel universe jumping, which signed me up, and one of the taglines in the synopsis is the night circus meets Pixar. Two of my favorite things of all time, so yes, I will definitely be picking this one up. I have two books for June, and they both come out on the 23rd. The first is The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This is the second book in the Queen of the Tearling trilogy, Tearling trilogy, whatever it is. I have not read The Queen of the Tearling as of right now, but I hope to pick it up before the sequel comes out. It's very highly talked about here on booktube. A lot of people really enjoy it. It's a fantasy series. It's adult and it is about our main character who has kind of been locked away. She's the queen of the Tearling, but she's been kind of kept away from her kingdom and she's turned 18 and she's going back to her kingdom and kind of taking it back. But it's really interesting because although it's a fantasy that feels kind of like medieval fantasy, it apparently takes place in the future. Like our future. <laughs> so it will actually talk about the past as being like right now. So that's really interesting. I want to see what that's all about with the series and I'm looking forward to the sequel even though at this point I have not read the first book. The next book is one of my most anticipated books of the whole summer, probably number two on the list of most anticipated books, and that is A Book of Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes. And this is the first book in her spin-off series of Fallen Kingdoms. You guys know how much I love Fallen Kingdoms. I will link my reviews and gushes if you don't know down below because I absolutely adore it and this is taking place in the same world but also in our world and it's the spin-off so I think it might end up being kind of like a prequel spin-off. I'm not sure because I haven't heard a ton about it. I've kept myself very spoiler free for it. Not a lot of people have gotten arcs. I know Lainey from Gingery's Lainey has and I think a few other people have read the arc but I'm not really sure what happens and I want to find out for myself and I'm so excited. <laughs> I only have one book coming out in July that I'm really highly anticipating and you guys can probably guess what it is. It is The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson, which is coming out July 7th. 
I am so excited. This is the second book in the Kiss of Deception Remnant Chronicles trilogy and I am so excited. This is probably one of my favorite books of the year for sure last year, if not my favorite. I absolutely adore it. And it is a YA fantasy trilogy and the first book you guys probably already know is about our main character Leah and she is a princess and she's set to be married to a prince but she doesn't want to be and she runs away. It's kind of a very typical story. But it goes off from there. You find out a lot of crazy things and the big premise of the first book is that two guys show up on the town where she's kind of hiding away. One is the prince and one is an assassin sent to kill her but she doesn't know who's who. She doesn't know that they're either one of those people. We don't know who's who and the big reveal doesn't happen until about two-thirds of the way through the first book. But there's so much more than just that. There's so much going on. It's such a wonderful world. I absolutely love the writing style. I love the main character of Leah and the last book ended at a point where I just need to know what happens and I've been waiting since last August when I read Thick as a Deception. So I need it like I need air and I am so excited that this book is finally coming out fairly soon. I know it's some months away but soon. I only have one anticipated release for August which is a shame because August is my birthday month and I was really hoping a lot of books would be coming out so I could have like birthday book month but there's really not. So the only book that I'm highly anticipating is Madly by Amy Allward and this comes out August 25th. This is a very interesting book and I liked it because of the cover but this is going to be the first book in a trilogy and it sounds kind of interesting and a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. It's supposed to be a little bit more funny than dramatic but basically the main character is a really good potion master. She's just naturally talented at making potions and she is called away to the royal castle and stuff because the princess has taken an illegal love potion and it's made her very very sick so our main character has to kind of cure her and she took this love potion so that her best friend would fall in love with her. Well, our main character gets there and she's kind of starting to fall for the best friend and we're not really sure. So it's a little bit of a different kind of love triangle with two girls at the other end of the love triangle instead of two guys, which I just think is going to be interesting and it's kind of being toted as like funny kind of in like the Princess Bride way. So I'm looking forward to reading it to see if it's a little bit something different. It sounds really cute, so we will see. So that is it for my very highly anticipated releases of the spring and summer. Comment down below and let me know some of the books that you are really looking forward to. I would love to see if I need to add even more to my TBR. So thank you all for watching and I will see all of you guys soon. Bye!